In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to bring static portraits to life using Comfy UI. You can take a painting, an AI-generated portrait, or even a real photograph and animate it with your own lip movements and facial expressions. And if you'd like to create a digital AI avatar that looks and sounds just like you, be sure to watch this video. To get started, you need to install Comfy UI on your computer. It's very easy and I've made a separate tutorial on that. So if this is your first time using Comfy UI, feel free to pause here and watch that video first. Next, you will need to install a Comfy UI extension called Live Portrait. I will link the page below and guide you through the installation step by step. First, open this Hugging Face link. Go ahead and download every single file from this page. Then go to your Comfy UI folder, open Models, create a new folder, rename it to Live Portrait and place all the files inside. Once you're done with that, open this Reactor Note page on GitHub, scroll down to the troubleshooting section and simply follow the steps listed over there to install the Inside Face package which is necessary for Live Portrait to work. If you're a first-time user, this may seem a bit complicated, so let me show you exactly what to do. Open your Comfy UI folder, in the path box, type in CMD and hit enter to open the command window. First, execute this command. This will tell you which version of Python you have on your computer. This way you can choose the correct inside face package from here. For example, I have the 3.11 version, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this and place it directly inside my Comfy UI folder. Now go back to the command window type in this command line and hit enter. This will start some updates, so wait for that to finish and then execute this command line to install inside face. Next, go to this page and from the model list, download the buffalo underscore L model, then go to Comfy UI, models, create a new folder and let's call this one inside face and extract the archive you just downloaded over here. Now that you have that sorted out, we can go ahead and get started with Live Portrait. First, let's launch Comfy UI and to use Live Portrait, you can download the basic workflow available on the Node's GitHub page. I will leave a link to it down below. To download the workflow, click here and choose download. Then simply drag and drop the JSON file over here to load it into Comfy UI. At this stage, most likely you will get a bunch of red boxes and errors. That's normal because some of the nodes used in this workflow haven't been installed on your computer. To fix that, click on Manager, go to Install Missing Custom Nodes, here you should be able to see a list of missing nodes, so just go ahead and install them one by one. Once you do that, click on restart and wait for Comfy UI to launch again. And now you should finally be able to use Live Portrait with no issues. It's very straightforward, you can click here to upload your video and there are a few things to note here that can help you get better results. When filming your video, try to use a static background, make sure you face the camera. You can still move your head left and right, up and down, but I recommend that you keep that to a minimum. Also, it's ideal that you upload a video in square format. For the portrait, first click on the default image to remove it and click here to upload your own image. Image. It's recommended that you use a square image here as well. And to start the process, click on Q prompt. The video will start generating and how long this takes will depend on the video duration, your hardware and few other factors. Once the video is ready, you will be able to preview it under the video combine node. And to access the actual video file, go to Comfy UI and look for the temp folder. By default, the workflow outputs videos in 548 by 548, which is considered a bit low, but you can use a tool such as Topaz Video AI to upscale the video to a higher resolution and significantly improve its quality. I use this a lot in my projects and trust me when I say it makes a huge difference. Now, the other cool thing here is that Live Portrait can be used to apply facial expression changes to videos as well. There are several workflows available that can be used for other creative purposes, so let me know if you'd like to see more tutorials where I cover other use cases of Live Portrait. Until then, stay creative and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!